Hi everybody, welcome to the den. Uh, as you can see, we're going to have another unboxing. Uh, I've had quite a bit of a delivery um, coming to us, so this is uh, going to be quite a long unboxing. Um, and I'm thinking that this is going to be in two parts. So, uh, the sort of things that we've got going on here, I um, mean, this lot we've got Wally, we've got um, the uh, Snow Speeder, we've got oh, uh, the Black Pearl, the Queen Anne. We've got the container ship in here. We've got uh, oh, let's have a look down here. Um, yeah, loads. Anyway, going to stick them all in the title. There's a lot of unboxing to do here. Got some a uh, couple of different types of models as well, so they'll be quite interesting. And um, well, let's get to, let's get to opening and uh, see how we go. Thanks. Okay, so the first one we're going to break open is this one. This one came in today. Um, this should contain the Snow Speeder, the uh, Market Street, is it? Uh, modular, and of course, Wally. So, um, all compact. Now, this is generally how uh, LEP in models come from the suppliers. They're all crammed into one box. Uh, I've never had an original type of box arrive. Um, with them, they all tend to be packets and stuff. So one thing I would say, once you get your Stanley knife and everything, do cut uh, very carefully. Um, they have been known to put some of the instructions on the top. So very lightly do it as you go through. Um, this is one set of, uh, like I say, I've shown you before the, the massive amount we've got there to uh, think, but this will probably be it for this side of uh, what we're now into December. Um, and there we go. So, brimming with brick. Look at that. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how they get it all in. So, we've got a lot of loose going on here. So we'll just start pulling these bags out. Normally what they do is, they will in fact um, sort of bag them up into, into what they are. Um, and I did notice that on one of the last sets we've yet to build, which is the old fishing shop, they were starting to number them. But um, I don't see any numbered bags going out. I don't know what particular model this is. This is all the loose. Uh, I think the orange brush gives it away. This will be the snow speeder for this. Okay, so we'll get those out. The snow speeder looks pretty cool. Yeah. And we've got three little packets here. They will have the code, no you know, they tend to write the numbers on. And another packet there for that. So I imagine from this that'll be Wally and that'll be the Market Square uh, modular one. And this is the snow speeder. So let's have a look at the snow speeder first off. Get all that out of the way. So before we start anything, let's have a quick look at the uh, uh, booklet. Okay. Um, yeah, usual good quality, good quality print on there. Nice step-by-step -step guide. I haven't got the original. There's the sticker sheet that it comes with. Uh, I've never had a problem with the stickers on there. So there's the snow speeder. That looks pretty cool. And I never have a problem with the instructions. I haven't got the original of this, so I don't know how many extra pages or less pages it is on there. But there's things, a bit sort of faded on the front as it were, so not super colour on there. But uh, to all intents and purposes it would be a copy from the uh, Lego original. Now what they haven't done with this is number the bags by all accounts. They do come with numbers on. And they not tend to be uh, the numbers as we know it. And certainly looking at this, the um, whoever put together the um, the fishing shop did in fact have the numbers on. So nicely placed it up. Uh, all the nice little bits. Okay. Just get to see where the minis. Well, that's the minis we 
that I'll have to check back with the uh, original uh, other version, the Lego version, just to see if there was any minis in that. It looks to me like there it comes without any minis. Let's have a quick look at the manual. I don't see any minis on the picture and perhaps the Lego one didn't come with any minis. It doesn't seem to be the case. Well, there's no minis on the main picture so you don't get any minis of this. Uh, like I say I wasn't familiar with the a Lego original. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just put all those bits in the box there. And you get a little note. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Asking you for five stars on the feedback. I can't remember how long this actually took over. I mean, it comes, it comes in with DHL. So I think from ordering, this particular one took a few extra days to get sorted. But um, less than seven days. So currently, today, um, I don't know, 10 days lead time depending on Christmas. I mean, if you're aiming for Christmas now, you know, unless you get something in in the next few days, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't risk it too much if you're looking for Christmas presents. Um, and be careful because some of the deals that they do, um, if you buy from all one supplier, like for instance, I know that'll be Wally, he was supposed to be sent through normal mail, but obviously if I bought the other stuff as well, that'll all go together. So there's our snow speeder. Looking pretty cool. We'll pop that down there. And um, I'm going to open this one. This is, um, I'm a big modular fan, um, really big modular fan for uh, all the Lego modulars. Um, I buy all the, the original Lego modulars. But of course, this particular one's been out of print for a long time. People are asking really silly money for it. And so, my only option to complete my set, now technically, the um, the markets wasn't technically a modular okay but it, it's sort of always been assumed that the first real modular in the in, in the collection was the cafe corner um, which we've got but this was sort of you know the start of it all as it were so once again all sort of that sort of wrapping going on um, I'm gonna be very careful I pretty much can tell that the manual is at this side so I'm gonna go in this side very gently just sort of start peeling back and lifting just to get me sorted out there and then come back so just be careful with the Stanley knife and then just peel her back as needed. I mean, I knew there wasn't anything in there, but um, always triple check the packets. I mean, once this is opened up, it all becomes loosened up. They do wrap up everything, but as you can see, they're starting to need a good size table to get these opened up. Make sure that you don't lose anything. And there is our, voila. And as the, They call it the factory set. Okay, so there we have our market street, as it were. Now, I'll show you these books, because um, let's have a quick look at the manual. It looks pretty good, nice and glossy, colorful. Don't, you know, they are gonna come creased, so that's just the way it is. But I've never had any problems with the manuals at all, so all nicely laid out step by step. And there it is when she's placed up with uh, all the rest of the sets, the, the green grocer and cafe corner, and, and there she sits. Now, one thing I will remind ourselves about is the base plates. For whatever reason, 
Lepin can't seem to make original Lego base plates thin enough. I mean, these are always too. Th they're not. A, they're much thicker than the Lego ones. Although saying that, these ones do look a bit thinner. So the, I might have to. I'm, I'm, I've got a sneaking suspicion that these might be either on par or just slightly thicker. But you will see the warp in them. Yeah, simple as, and the same as here. There will be a warp now. How do we correct this? What I would do in a plate like this, I'd get a hairdryer, heat it up, all right, not super hot, yeah, but warm enough, and then literally put a heavy weight on them, and they will just go back in. The other tip is is to get um, a bowl full of really hot water, preferably boiling water, um, let it stand for a, a few moments, and then drop this in, and it will, providing it's been moulded. Um, correctly it will assume the um, the correct shape that's another way of doing it and then you pull that out and then put it into cold water and, and it'll set but I have found that after coming back from packing if I leave them lying there they will actually sink and uh, go back down or alternatively get yourself uh, another plate like I say you have to look at the dimensions but there we have the uh, I've been wanting to build this model for a very long time um, my dream is, uh, if I had the space, was to put all the modules around in a big... I'm sort of very jealous of those people that have a, a bedroom or a back room that is it's just purely for the Lego fantasy. Um, I can just put everything else out. But, um, yeah, so we've got all the, all the colours look nice. A lot of colour matching in the brick. Never have a problem. Never have a problem. Um, for everything. And there's nice dark brick there. And we will have this little bit here, all our little bits and pieces. And this thing, where are the modules of the, uh, the actual? some hair and bits and pieces so I must have the body somewhere. Just looking out for the uh, lamp post. Oh no there's a Got to be careful there, there's a split in the, the bag, okay, so stuff's just making its way through now. So just be careful, I always open these up in a big area where possible. We'll see where I've got me. Uh... What I'm hunting for is the body parts for the mini pigs. Because, as you will probably be aware, the minifigs don't come as assembled um, as a lot of other kits. Now I'm used to seeing the minifigs. I've got the the, uh, the heads and stuff. I've got some hairs. Yes, and there's the bodies. There we go. So that's what threw me. So all the bodies come without the arms and the legs attached and so on. And you will have to attach them. And all the pieces tend to be in there, but each each component that some of it would have been assembled at the factory isn't. So um, we need to keep an eye out for that. So there we have Market Square. Looking forward to that. And I shall park that over there out of the way. I'm just going to very quickly keep that separate. I've got some boxes lined up to put those in and trays and stuff. Um, be careful, like I say, some of those little bags are quite fragile and they will split. So please check all your packaging um, for, for odd items and so on. And, and with that, you know, I've never had to substitute much in the way of brick for uh, Lepin models, but it goes without saying if you're buying into Lepin, um, you often end up with a bag of extra bits, but make sure that you've got. Um, you know, a decent collection yourself, just to top off the bits and pieces. But um, I've understood from many other people, if you went through and there was a piece missing, you've got 
uh, quite a number of days with dispute and they'll, they'll send you those bits back. Now this is uh, an intro one, I'm going to be getting onto this. I actually have the original um, Wally, as it were, for this one. Okay, once again, I'm trying to find out there, I'm pretty sure is the, uh, the um, instructions. I'm going to gently score the top there and get that opened up. Another bag within a bag. Within a bag. Okay. Now the lead, I'm be interested on the build for this because anybody who's got the original uh, Wally will remember that the original came with a problem. And that was his neck he used to flip round like something from The Exorcist, and then they sent out a fix. Uh, they didn't say that it was a problem. I remember Lego saying something like to enhance your building enjoyment or something. But it was well versed that it was a design fault. And I'd be interested to see whether or not this version has, in fact, um, corrected that design fault as well. Um, obviously, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing this on a side-by-side. -side, a number of people have asked me to uh, build this one. Um, there he is, Wally. This is this is such a I can say a cute model. Really is. I've got it on a on an avatar for, for some of my things. And uh, once again, there's the manual. It's not a massive build. It's just a really fun build. It's a fun model. Really popular with the kids and that. And if they've not seen Wally, what do you mean not seen Wally? How can you what not watch Wally? Okay, um, it's all there. That's nicely. Nice manual there, and we have our builds. It's okay, once again. Oh, this is always a. Is there any bags? Things? No, you don't really need the bags for this. But I'm just going to crack open this bag because I'm not a hundred percent sure. I've got a couple of new Lego models down there which I've not opened as yet, but I'm, they always come with a brick tool, don't they? And that. It, I'd have to check, but it's like a giraffe, but it's the brick tool, you know, for pulling parts of things, but that's not the Lego one, the Lego one's sort of a flat one, I don't know if Lego were changing it, but there you have a, you know, funny little brick tool thing, which is uh, goddamn handy actually when you build it. Okay, so there's our little Wally, and from what I can look, the colours are all good, always, always good blend of the colours, I mean they do have the... I don't use this channel to get into talking about the, the rights, wrongs, whatever, but at the end of the day, um, you know, it is what it is. So, we've got quite a bit going on there. I'm going to stop that one there. That's uh, that's number one. Okay, go off and have a cup of tea and uh, then we'll uh, get on with uh, emptying out number two. Where we've got a couple of bits of extra um, brands in there that was wishing to try apart from the leaping version. So... Uh, if this is just what you're watching, thanks very much for watching. Um, please subscribe, send some comments through, and uh, obviously we'll be uh, keep keep in tune because we'll be putting a build together of these. Um, I've still got the uh, the fishing shop, the old fishing shop down there is ready for a build, but I'm so busy also in the den with painting of the miniatures of Kingdom Death and stuff like that. So if you're a board game and Lego fan, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, till next time, thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye now.